be brave and share why you opt out of the vaccination agenda. Yeah, do tell us why you don't want to eliminate deadly diseases. I can't think of reasons that aren't bafflingly insane. But perhaps you can enlighten my foolish, foolish little brain. I want to help demystify the idea of being an unvaccinated person or a parent that doesn't vaccinate. No one is mystified by the concept. It's just a really, 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 really silly thing for healthy people to do. First of all, if you're watching this video and you're an adult and you don't have all your booster shots, then you yourself are unvaccinated. Should probably go fix that. And so that's something to be aware of. I know she's thinking... Well, you know you are fine without vaccines, so everybody should be fine without vaccines. Because, you know, that's totally how this shit works. Um, I just have seen so much nastiness. F*** you, you c***ing piece of f***-faced shit. I'm gonna stick my dick in your car and leave a massive shitty cabbage in your driveway, you f***-faced box of dildos and f***ing idiot brand toilet cleaner. Sorry, I meant to say... Do go on. And so much discrimination with parents that choose to opt out of the vaccination agenda. Yeah, it's weird that parents find ill-informed morons making stupid decisions that affect not only their children, but when enough of them do it at least, other children as well. It's bizarre how these people find these morons so contemptible, not only for the choices they make, but the pride they take in their ignorance. And I really want to speak to that because I think it's a big deal. And I think that there's so many people out there. In fact, I know that there's so many people out there that aren't vaccinated. They're too scared to speak up. Again, people who do this shit on purpose are usually proud of the fact that they don't know anything. The sort of arrogant idiocy that's, well, how would you put it, darling? And you guys, what I want to share with you is it's scary. Okay, we're in my home right now. I've, I'm opening up to you about a multitude of issues that are very personal to my life, but I'm doing that because I want to inspire other people to be brave. Um, you've barely said anything. You've literally said some people aren't vaccinated, and that's true. Hardly brave. I can say it too. Some people who should be vaccinated aren't. Might want to get that seen to, or I suppose you can be a lazy shit and rely on other people's herd immunity. And I want to inspire other people to speak out because the longer we stay silent, the longer this sort of discrimination will exist. Oh, I see. You're the victim here. The victim of literally everyone else being correct. And you have your feelings hurt when people point out how freaking ridiculous your reasoning is. That you don't know what you're talking about. That you're putting your child at risk. That you're putting immunocompromised children at risk. That you are either buying into the bullshit of some very shady people just looking to take your money off you, or you are, in fact, one of them. And what I want you to imagine right now is that your child was mutilated and destroyed and possibly killed by a product. Oh, you want to talk about harm being caused by products? Just type vaccine free into Amazon and look at all these books selling you the very necessary information you need to save your child's life. I mean, you could go down to a free health clinic with doctors and nurses and other trained professionals and get some advice without having to pay anything. But what do they know? The truth is always hidden behind a paywall and exposed by people with absolutely zero relevant qualifications. And every time that you told that story and you told your heartache, the world laughed at you. No one is laughing at someone's tragedy, but the conclusions you people are coming to based on the most asinine bullshit is outrageous and makes people question your sanity and or intelligence. Grand conspiracies are ludicrous for one simple reason. People love to talk. People love to tell their stories. And when an industry hires literally millions and millions of people worldwide, yet no one seems to be coming forward. I mean, let me put it this way. Approximately 37,000 people work for the NSA, an organization whose job it is to find out and keep secrets. Big important secrets and at the very least we have Edward Snowden come forward and point out some of the shady shit they've been up to. Now there are 
hundreds if not thousands of times as many people working in medicine. There should be professionals crawling out of the woodwork all the goddamn time telling their stories about how evil corporations are trying to kill us all, regardless of the risks to their own lives, regardless of the money involved. But it doesn't happen. You know why? Because grand conspiracies are fucking nonsense. And they made fun of you and they told you you were a liar and they told you it didn't happen. They told you that what you think happened is incorrect because I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you this, but being a parent doesn't mean you know the first thing about medicine and your two weeks of study online about vaccine does not make you an expert. Your doctor who keeps begging you to get your kids vaccinated has been studying this shit for years and years and continues to learn more and more about all sorts of shit every day and already has a baseline understanding of how this shit fits together. You just don't. Go to medical school. Learn a relevant qualification. Then tell me what you have discovered about vaccines. Chances are, when you know how it all works, you'll change your tune. And not only did all of that happen from your friends and your family and your peers and the rest of the world, but you then tried to sue the person that created that product that damaged your child and you found out that you didn't have any rights to do that. If I fell over in the street and then turn around and try and sue a local school, I wouldn't have the right either. Even if I could prove that kids from that school used that street. These tenuous links don't mean anything. The problem is you are seeing connection between things that are actually unrelated and failing to see one universal truth. Sometimes shit just happens and there is nobody to blame. Instead of working on getting better, you want to knock down the local school because someone has to suffer like I have. That is the day-to-day -day life of anyone that's ever been injured by a vaccine. They are belittled, they are made fun of, they have little to no legal rights um, to protect themselves and their family from it happening again or to pay for the repercussions of when it happened the first time. If it happened again, that's kind of dumb since you dumb cunts are still opting out of it en masse, causing huge problems and there is no punishment for that, as it were. So the only person to blame in the if it happened again stakes would be you, as it's a choice. There are arguments to be made for and against the right to choose and I'm not going to make those here. You have one right to do something about something that has been demonstrated time and again to be safe. Prove it isn't. But you can't because the tests that come out of your side are universally panned by people who know what the fuck they're talking about. The reason you can't sue anyone is there is no one to sue. Let me ask you. Who would you sue if you caught a cold that happened to keep you off work for two or three weeks and you ended up getting fired? No one. Because you don't sue people for getting sick. And that's what's happening. Your children, they're, they're getting sick. And you are trying to find someone to blame instead of coming to terms with it and actually dealing with it. And that's part of why this is all so sad. Every one of you is just in denial. It's a shame that your denial could be the cause of actual pain and suffering when you could and should have prevented it. And so I really want to encourage everyone to open up a dialogue with people. Don't be afraid to tell your family that you're not vaccinating. Don't be afraid to tell your friends why you've chosen not to vaccinate your children. Tell them why. Tell them what you've learned. Yeah, do that. And when they explain in great detail why you are wrong, actually listen to them. When you go to your doctor, don't think, oh, paid chill. Think human being who chose a career about helping people. Actually remember that people aren't mad at you. They are mad at the ignorance. They are mad at the misinformation that you've been taught and that you are now spreading. Nobody wants the world to be a worse place. Not even big corporations. Not even the big corporations, because funnily enough, even corporations are staffed by those with families and friends, because you know, they are people too. And maybe you can have a 
in-depth conversation about it and maybe you're going to inspire them to do their own research. And what if they do and they come back with hard proof of how wrong you are? Are you actually going to listen or are you going to double down and make a video about how everyone is laughing at your tragedy by not agreeing with your incredibly limited knowledge on the subject? Oh wait. So I know there's a lot of people, I get messages all the time saying, Brittany, you're brave and I could never be like you and I couldn't speak out and you guys, I'm scared too. Scared of what? Being told you're wrong? Even being actually laughed at? How many people have died because they are anti-vaxxers? No, sorry. That's a silly question. How many people have been murdered because they are anti-vaxxers? Because I'm going to bet a big fat zero. We've, we've... Holy shit, best noise ever. We've, 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 we've... God, I'm so mature. People have come after us and people have said horrible things about myself and my family, but I'm not... Knew it. Mean words. Mean words are not a thing to fear. If you are so convinced you are correct, they should have no effect on you. Scared enough to stop telling the truth because the truth is what we all need right now and the truth will set us free. And the longer as that collectively as a society, we hide from this issue and we hide in our homes and we don't tell people what we're doing, the longer the discrimination is going to continue. God damn it. Someone took some social justice courses, didn't they? This is not discrimination. This is criticism of your terrible, terrible ideas. People are telling you you are wrong and nothing else. There isn't anything that you can't do that other people can. The only thing you can't do is wrongfully sue a company. Boo fucking who, darling. So I just wanted to say that, that it's really important to be kind, that people are being damaged by vaccines. That is not a lie. Nobody's making that up. It is happening. It is happening every day, every second. Babies are dying from SIDS. Fuck you, bitch. SIDS is literally an infant dying from unknown causes. You can't just claim that suddenly you magically know what it was because you've read some books written by actual shills who don't give a fuck about you or your family, just the sweet, sweet money they make from you and others like you, selling their pseudo-scientific junk. You don't know what caused somebody's baby to die and how fucking dare you pretend you do because of vaccines. Children are getting neurological disorders because of vaccines. Kids are getting autism because of vaccines. No, they fucking aren't. Morons like you are committing a basic logical fallacy and then fucking running with it into the sunset, causing as much damage as you can along the way. So do your research, know what's happening, and don't be afraid to speak out because truth is on our side. And the more people that stand up and say, not in my home, not in my body, not in my children, the sooner this will all change. God bless. You people are so dangerous, it's unreal. Bringing back long believed to be dead diseases because you think you know what you are talking about when you just don't. If you fucks were actually honest, you would get one or two of you through a university, get someone with medical degrees in a field directly related to vaccination, and then actually do real tests and not bodge them for the results you want, but to find out what the reality of the situation is. But you won't. Probably because it would be difficult. As difficult as accepting that doing nothing will severely increase the risks to your children when doing something might make them a bit ill. Even if everything you believed was true, even if every last bit of it was reflective of reality, it would still be preferable to vaccinate and protect from some fucking horrible illnesses and take that statistically insignificant chance that something bad might happen rather than the much, much higher chance that comes with not. I would.